3D printer fans. Oh, that just gave it away. What do I have here? <gasps> if you can read it through the tape, 3D printer. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, I ordered this one from China. Um, it cost about 240 pounds and it, it is kit, obviously. Yeah, I think gonna fit in this box otherwise. But I know that's quite cheap. It's a rep wrap of, um, based model. Uh, I got it uh, off of Sen, Sen, Shen Hen, oh, for, Shenzhen Sun Ho Key Electronics Co. Limited in China. Um, they had one that sold about 240, 250 odd units, about 90% happiness rate, I'd say, on that. Uh, they had the exact same printer listed just under a different heading on their thing. Uh, same price because the other one went up, then price came down again. Uh, I probably should have just went for the other one in the end, but um, it's a printer. It comes with two reels of filament. Now, I haven't opened this yet. This is an unboxing. It's made of acrylic and what have you. I'm going to open it now. Uh, the only thing that some people have stated is the acrylic has been broken sometimes when it arrives. I am so hoping that's not the case for mine. So hoping. Here we go. So here is, by the look of it, um, packing documentation, them ticking off what they put in in Chinese and not ticking the English one. So I might have everything. I suppose it leaves me the English one to check off as I go. Ooh, styrofoam, bubble wrap. Ooh. Been pop mainly. That's not no fun. When I was asking questions to these guys uh, over in China, I kind of got most of the answers one. Well. I was kind of ready to buy, but I was just leaving it a little while. Uh, had other things, Christmas coming up and etc. They contacted me and then said, oh, if you want to buy it now, we'll knock some money off, which was fine, cool. I, they knocked some money off. So I did that, uh, but I had to pay the full price that was on there and then they were going to try a refund, but then it was going to be difficult. So what they did instead, they said, well, because of the extra money, they'll send me a quad head. So I actually have here four J-type print heads that they threw in with with the uh, heat canister and everything, all pretty pre-wired, ready to go. For about under 240 quid, I've got it, not only the printer as it was, although I did forget to mention I needed a British plug. I've got adapters, not a big issue. So, whoa, four extra friggin' heads. Result. Here is my filament. It came, like I said, with two rolls of filament. So I've got a roll of black PLA. Yes, it is PLA, isn't it? Not ABS, because that stinks. I will get some ABS at some point, but I wanted to start with PLA. I know this is going to be cheap and cheerful stuff, but... While I'm getting started and spending most of it trying to calibrate the printer, you know, having highly expensive stuff, not exactly going to be a bonus. Ooh. What we appear to have here is a shed load of cable ties. I'm conjuring. That's the belts, pulleys. Uh, oh, aluminium pulleys as well. Very nice. Not printed ones. Good. Some board or clips for holding the glass plate down. Oh, a diddy tape measure. Look at it. It's diddy. It's equal. Equal. USB lead. Tweezers. Whoa, even got tweezers. All the Allen keys. USB. I think this must be all the electronics box. I think what might be under here is all the acrylic stuff. Okay, it was supposed to be clear, but it's pink. Seriously, pink? I don't mind pink, I've got a pink toothbrush, but it's supposed to be clear acrylic. It's not like a protective layer on it. No, no, I've got a pink one. Apparently I now have a pink printer. Oh well, here's a printer. I'm just trying to make sure that none of it looks broken at all. The heated bed. They look like from best I can tell, they're all currently, until I break them at least, 
in one piece so that's a bonus i'm in touch enough on my feminine side to be able to live with pink till i can change it <laughs> some leads fans oh the electronic control board with sd card reader good that's the main can you see that in there bonuses it has got the sd card reader on it so it means i'll be able to set the stl files or whatever uh, put them on an SD card and so if I need to leave the printer say down in the workshop or whatever at least then I don't have to have the laptop always hooked up to it some more plastic bits looks like something end stop another end stop another end stop oh here's the uh, so that's been cut open have tested already it says Please pay attention to the plus and minus of the main board. Do avoid the wrong connection. It could broken the main board if connected wrong. You've got to love Chinese to English translation. Mind you, my English isn't English to English isn't that brilliant. So and there's the main control board. Doesn't look like it's obviously based off of a. It isn't run, running using an Arduino or anything like that. The uh, sliders got what's that? One, two, three four five six of them two larger sliders and my other print head <laughs> hey i am that's the one that comes with it standing you can see a lot larger on the uh, bottom piece there he sent me the four heads but I, I haven't been able to spot so far away of putting all four on so that's a project obviously yeah come out of there you oh and already put together by the look of it it's a bowden extruder if i'm not mistaken uh the terminology for that this one like mounts to part of the printer it feeds it in and then it goes through a pipe to the uh, extruder rods they're for the uh, z-axis if i'm not mistaken there's all my rods from the xy's these two here must be them for the, the z one, two, three. So we've got all the other stepper motors here. I'll tell you what, this is really, really cool. You can't actually see in there. Let me just tilt this like that. So you can see everything, all of these, like these start, um, stepper motors are in their own little sections and they all had little foam coverings. These bits here. So it's I've got to give them 10 out of 10 for packing. You know, they have really tried hard to make sure it got to me in one piece. The reason I think the acrylic breaks is because they've got that kind of loose in the bottom of there. If the box had, you know, they used just a fraction more height and just put those plastic bits stuck to a bit of bubble wrap in layers, then they'll probably get a lot more, or a lot less breakage on the acrylic. I was lucky I haven't, this doesn't appear at the moment to have any breakage on the acrylic, but I've got the four stepper motors there. And this should be the power supply. So there we go nice beefy looking power supply now the live and neutral there by the look of it it just takes a live and neutral and an earth in so where that lead is just a thing me i could probably just i've got dozens and dozens of kettle lug kettle plug leads snip one off boom job done so not having a uk plug it's not really um going to be a drawback to me so there we go uh is there anything in the other layers below that i don't think there is not that i can tell that appears to be it all rightio well that's been the unboxing of my 3d printer uh i will make a video hopefully of me putting the thing together so look out for that one if you've enjoyed this unboxing and you've looking to buy, buy one of these keep an eye out because I'm going to do a whole string of videos involving this printer from building it, upgrading it, tuning it, programming, all of that stuff. So hopefully uh, you'll find them useful in the future. Um, but if you have liked this, please subscribe, especially if you want to see any more videos involving this coming up. Uh, like it if you've liked the video. Uh, let me know what you didn't like about the video constructively or just troll the heck out of me if that's what you're going to do because you're going to do it anyway. And um, I hope to see you watching one of my other videos again soon. I've been High Boson and uh, enjoy your day. And I'm going to go and play with this now. I'm going to try and figure this out now. Uh, bye. <laughs>
I do believe this is my 3D printer arriving. <laughs> this is a 3D printer. It's just been delivered and I caught it on film. <laughs> More about that later.